Hey guys, Jamin here bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video. I have an HP G62 series notebook here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take out your hard drive and your RAM so that if you're replacing it, you know how to get at those parts. As with most of my videos, if you have any questions or comments, if there's something you want more clarification on, uh, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description. It'll save you some time getting an answer. Uh, if you don't see your question there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day at least. So to start with, to get at your hard drive and RAM, I'm going to flip the computer over, make sure it's off first. Flip the computer over, and I'll show you how to get inside it. So to start with, in any computer repair, if you can take your battery right out, go ahead and do it. If you have an internal battery, don't worry about it. It's always good to get power out of your computer as soon as possible. If you have a computer like mine, you have a couple uh, easy access panels, or at least one. Um, if you take that off, you usually can gain access to your hard drive and RAM together. There's your hard drive and there's your RAM. So to start with, I'll show you how to take the RAM out. This is a very common way that RAM looks. You'll either have one stick or two, and they'll either be on top of each other, like in this case, or side to side. RAM is usually held in by two spring-loaded arms on either side. You can rotate that, give you a better view. And in order to take RAM out, you push those spring-loaded arms away from the RAM, and the RAM just pops up, like that. And then you can slide the RAM out. If you need help in finding out the correct kind of RAM to purchase as a replacement for your computer, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to buy the correct RAM. There's a lot of numbers on here, but you only need a couple of them to buy the correct compatible RAM for your computer. So to put the RAM back in, make sure that it's orientated correctly. There's a long port and a short port. Make sure that it's going in the right way. You slide it in, make sure that it's flush, and then you just press down and it snaps back in. That's how you would replace your RAM. Now to replace the hard drive, Hard drives will usually look somewhat like this. They usually will sit inside what's called a hard drive caddy. What a hard drive caddy is, is a metal or plastic bracket that fits onto the hard drive and secures it to the computer so it doesn't get loose. So we're gonna unscrew that to take the hard drive out. Your hard drive may or may not look like this. Mine is plugged in by a cord to the motherboard. I'm just gonna unplug that, right like that. And the hard drive, oop, I missed the screw. Thought it was weird, it only had two. And the hard drive will just come right out. As you can see, it's held into the caddy by two screws on either side. So I'm gonna take those screws out to release the hard drive from the caddy. And then you can take the hard drive out of the caddy. Now keep in mind, make sure you know the correct orientation of this hard drive caddy so when you're taking your new hard drive, you don't put it in the wrong way. Because it's got to be in the correct way to plug in. Just like RAM, it has a long port and a short port that has to line up. If you're looking for help on purchasing the right kind of hard drive for your computer, generally speaking on this model computer, the hard drive is going to be a 2.5 inch. That'll be the size of the hard drive, 2.5 inch. It'll be a SATA connection, S-A-T-A, -A, that refers to the port. And then you can buy whatever size you want storage-wise. Uh, this one is a 500 gigabyte. You can buy a terabyte, uh, 750 gigabyte. Uh, if you want, a not a bad idea is upgrading to a solid state drive. There's no movable parts inside. They generally last longer and they're faster. So to put that hard drive back in, you would take the hard drive screws and you'd put all four back in, secure it back in, in, into the caddy. Once that's secure, you plug it back into this connector board. Then you put the hard drive caddy back in, plug it in, and screw the hard drive back down. Then you put your panels back on. And replace your battery. And that's how you would replace the hard drive and RAM in an HP G62 series notebook. If you were looking for another model and you don't see yours here, leave me a comment down below. Maybe your series number or model number wasn't quite like this one. Uh, let me know and I can help you find it. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. And subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching, guys.